Well, hello everyone, Looney Farm Guy here, and welcome to my video. In this video, I am going to uh, explain and show you how I create nice straight lines and square or rectangle fields uh, using the uh, Field Creator Pack. Uh, that Field Creator Pack came out fairly recently um, and uh, converts uh, all the base game or, or copies, shall I say, copies all the base game um, cultivators and ground working tools or equipment, you could say, <coughs> and gives you a version uh, that uh, that will support uh, or that will enable you to create fields, which is uh, something we had in uh, Farm Sim 19. And uh, we have it now in Farm Sim 22. However, it does work slightly different. So before I get into the video, I, if I could ask a small favor of you all, uh, if you could, uh, if you found this uh, video helpful or useful in some way, shape, or form, please leave a like. It really helps out the channel. Now, so we, uh, I am on the construction map. Uh, and I'm actually in the process of creating my new test map. And, well, you have to create a bunch of fields. So, what I have here is the FET 1050 <coughs> with, the, uh, with the 9M, a 6M, 9M plow. Uh, and the reason I like this, and this is where you find it, you'll find it under plows. And there we go, it's the Lizard Subsolar 6MT, 9MT mod. And, uh... It plows at nine meters if you so choose six or nine meters now this isn't included in the field well all plows can create fields but a worker won't uh, won't operate this to create new fields you have to do it so <clears throat> the first thing you need to do is is decide where you want to create your field now this is where I cut some grass and it shows it but here we are over here. So I want, I'm, I'm looking to make a nice rectangle field up against uh, somewhat close. This is the edge of the map, edge of the map here. So just kind of making a, a rectangular field up here behind the store uh, for, well, testing. So if you're like me at all, you have a lot of trouble making a straight line when... Uh, when creating fields, so let's get the edge of the the edge of the. Don't want to get too close to the edge of the map here. So, if that's the edge of the map, we want to stay a couple of tractor lengths away from it and start about here. So I like uh, typically when I'm creating square fields, I like to orient uh, the in the north, south, east, west uh, kind of orientation, and uh, you can get a general idea either that way or if you pull up your small square PDA uh, it will kind of show you if you're pointing so this in this particular way we're pointing is north so we're going to set that down start field creating and we're going to edge out our field <clears throat> now as you can see uh, one nice thing about farm sim 22 I'm on ps5 by the way is uh, the lines will tell you yes okay I'm going relatively straight but you know there's there's, you know, little edges, and actually, I found it. I find it much easier on 22 to make straight lines, or at least close to it. Um, for some reason, I had a very difficult time in Farms and Simulator 19. It seemed just the tractors just didn't want to stay straight. Now here, I'm not, I'm not, this is, I'm driving this manually, I'm not using a worker. And you see how it's kind of, I've already got kind of crooked there. Um, but I'm going to show you how you can make perfectly straight lines and make a perfectly square field without all these little jigs and jags. Or at least very minimal ones. Alright, so it uh, looks like we've kind of verged off as uh, as I often do 
I will show you how to correct that. Now we're going to make out, make the top of it. So I'm going to finish edging out this and then I'm going to sh uh, talk about uh, my technique to create the perfectly square field. All right, so as you can see, we have edged out the field and as you can see, I've done a poor job of making straight lines and that's really not on purpose actually. <clears throat> and uh, if we if we zoom in, you can see I've kind of veered off a little bit to the right here and this is kind of a little bit jagged and so I'm going to show you how to fix that and make a perfectly square fields uh, like these that I have created over here. Now, what I have on here, this is the uh, Horse Joker 4CT Field Creator. Now, Field Creator is that means this is uh, this was created uh, with that mod when I downloaded the mod of the Field Creator Pack. Now let me show you a little bit. If you want to know more in-depth um, <clears throat> uh, information about the Field Creator Pack and um, what it does, uh, watch my video on it. Uh, the mod is by TF2020 Mods. He has made several other mods. Uh, go check him out there. Excellent. So. Uh, let's look at cultivators because that's where we are. So we have all the base game cultivators here. And then as you notice, uh, these are the two uh, modded ones. If you, those, there's the base game one, the Rabe, EG3 slash nine. And here is the EG3 slash nine field creator. So the prices are the same. Uh, except uh, now you have that field creator mod. Now, if you notice, it says this machine up to the top, the cultivator prepares fields for the next sowing. This machine allows create new fields. It is advisable to rent the machine only. And the reason they say that is workers typically don't do well with these machines. However, I'll show you the one we have currently equipped, and it is... And I'll tell you why. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's not cultivator. It is in disc arrows. So disc arrows, cultivators, will, and subsoilers. I believe power arrows too. Yeah, power arrows, um, subsoilers, but disc arrows. That's the one where. So here's the. Uh, oh, with the horse. Here's the horse. Here's the horse choker for CT, the base game one. It will not create fields as a base game model. But here is the one we have currently equipped. And nice thing about it, you can change the colors on it if you wish as well. And, okay, so why did I pick this? This one is a three-point link, same as this. It'll give it gives you a direct control, uh, and it's very is small and compact and easy to maneuver. And the purpose I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up the edges, and how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a worker. Yes, I'm going to use a worker to do that because a worker will operate this machine as long as uh, you some part of the cultivator is touching uh, created field so if I went say for example on a patch of ground that has never had any and we turn on the field creator and we press oh it says worker stopped uh, no field found. So that's what's going to happen if you do that. However, if we go over to, uh, well, we'll just try it on this bare patch here without anything. Press that down, and away he goes because he's on already created field. Now, I remember I still have create a field field creation on. So uh, you may have guessed this. What you want to do is set him up with at least part of the cultivator on 
the uh, plowed ground and set him off. Now I've set off the worker and as you can see, <clears throat> he is now going in a perfectly straight line and he's going to make uh, this edge of the field perfectly straight. Now you know, you're not going to you can't just set this one and walk away. You're going to have to monitor him very closely because he, there's a good chance he might just keep going at the end of the row and go off into, uh, well, into the nether regions of the map and you'll have this big long cloud <laughs> strip. So, as you can see, he is uh, straightening out my very crooked line. And once they, they, they will slow down at the end, but they, there's they tend to keep going and right there if you stop them you can stop the edge right there and have a nice perfectly straight line and as you can see uh, there's there's gonna be little sometimes they leave tiny little blips yeah for some reason they leave a little tiny blip but for the most part it has yeah, no, that's just an optical illusion or a... Yep, so there you go. I'm going to finish squaring off this field, and we will wrap it up when I show you the uh, finished uh, product. All right, we have finished edging out, and we uh, we uh, took uh, we took this uh, nice big disc arrow here. Uh, let's see what here. The K-Line Power Flex uh, 125... And that's uh, part of the field creator pack as well. It's the largest disc hero, and it travels at a swift 12 miles per hour. And then you just plow in the center of it. Now, it might take a little practice. I kind of goofed up on this corner here a little bit. You can patch it up with some painting and then kind of re... <laughs> but, I mean, aside from my terrible field creation skills you basically have a nice perfectly rectangle oriented uh, a worker friendly field shall we say where it is oriented in a north south orientation and um yeah and then you carry on from there i'm Looney farm guy i do hope you uh found this uh, video helpful in some way shape or form and remember it's just a game so have fun <laughs> till next time bye for now